Today we're going to talk about the proper sampling procedure for a household bacteria test testing for coliform bacteria and E. coli. First of all, you'll want to obtain a sterilized bottle from the laboratory. This bottle contains a small amount of preservative that will keep the bacteria alive until the time of testing. Uh, next, locate a commonly used faucet in your home. Typically, a kitchen sink will work well. Um, you'll want to make sure that there's no filter or screen on the end of your faucet. If there is, go ahead and remove that. This one does not have one, so we're good to go ahead and get started. You'll want to use some standard household rubbing alcohol to sterilize the end of the faucet. This will take care of any bacteria that may be living there. Um, next, we will flame the alcohol off of the faucet. And from there, we will turn our water on and let it run for approximately five minutes. Our water has been running for about five minutes, so we're ready to take our sample. Uh, you'll want to take the safety seal off of the lid. Uh, be sure not to rinse out the bottle. That will get rid of all the preservative that's in there. And then we'll simply just fill up the bottle. Be sure that your sample bag is filled out with your information and then we're ready to take our sample to the lab. Bacteria samples must be returned to the lab within 24 hours of sampling um, to ensure accurate results. Samples can be dropped off at the lab Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you are mailing or shipping samples, please send them overnight as samples over 24 hours old will not yield accurate results unless refrigerated. For more information on bacteria analysis or any other laboratory testing, please visit www.wardlab.com.